In Space Station 14, there are three types of wires, low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage wires. Low voltage wires are the most common wires on this station and power almost every single gadget from lights to consoles. Low voltage wires connect straight to APCs and this is your device to turn on and off the low voltage network. Low voltage or APCs are powered directly by substations, which uses medium voltage wires like so. Medium voltage wires have to connect to the APC directly, and they must connect to a substation like so. The wires go directly under the substation to hook it up. Substations gain their power from SMESs, as you can see here. They use high voltage wires, which you'd connect to things like generators, or from like the other video, you would connect it up to the AME. So, to basically make things simple, power starts with high voltage wires, with the orange high voltage wires. They run them over to SMESs. SMESs require the cable terminal to input power, and if they have wires running under them, like so, you can see right here, they act as a battery as well, which if you shift click it, you can see the battery is 99% full. It's pretty simple in that regard. Then the high voltage wires must connect to a substation, which you just run the wires directly under the tile. And all of this is on live. The only thing I edited was the generators. So you can use the existing mapping wires to learn this easier. It's a pretty, it's pretty simple and it's harder to break it. It's hard to break it down more so than this. So the HV wires go from power to SMES, or to cable terminal, to SMES, and then you can choose if you want the SMES to be a battery or not. Then the orange wires go to a substation, and then you need to run yellow wires, medium voltage wires, from the substation to an APC. And then from the APC, you run these green low voltage wires. Here, I'll go give a better example of how this all works by literally just deconstructing some of the station. So let's just go into Hop's office for a quick example. I'll turn the T-Ray back on. If you come into Hop's office and you turn off the APC, look, all the things that take low voltage are gone. And the APC won't give you any indication that it's actually turned off. It will still glow. Now let's see what happens when you just simply cut the medium voltage wire, which remember, substations power APCs. That's the way it converts. So if you cut the medium voltage wire, same thing happens. Except the APC does have a little bit of charge. So if you just give it a second, well, I mean, you can watch it in real time. The APC will lose its battery, because APCs have a very tiny network worth of battery. And once this runs out, the whole room will lose power. And I'll do one more example to show how substations work. But just for... There you go. Is lost power. And watch what happens when you put the medium attention. wire back. I am paying attention. Put the medium back, instantly powered back up, and it'll charge. And to show how it works for substations, it's the same thing. So let's get rid of this. So notice how the substation is at 100%. Well, here's what happens when you cut a high voltage wire. It is an instant. It takes time. But, well, actually, this is probably a bad example. Because there's not much powering, but there you go. See how it went from 99 to 98? It takes a decent bit of time, but the substation will eventually drain power, which means the APC will run out of power, and this will happen again. So realistically, it is pretty simple. It, it's simple in concept to keep the wires all set up, but more advanced saboteurs are going to be very good at cutting specific wires, and they'll cut wires behind doors and... It becomes a mess to figure it out. But that's fixing wires is a whole different video, and this is just to explain the wires. I can't really think of any other way to explain it better other than just playing it and figuring it out from here. But this video does showcase all the wires, and I hope this at least gets you to understand the wires just a little bit, because otherwise you're going to have to snip wires in the live server, and that's not good.